Check it out, friends. Skill launch back in February, the new PowerCore 40 16 inch string trimmer kit. And I've been using it for the past two to three months. And I'm gonna show you some footage of that and how it's worked out for me. We also have the edger kit right here. So we're gonna look at that as well too. So first let's get a quick look at some of the items and then we're gonna test it out. And then at the end, we're gonna go through all the specs and the price and hopefully answer all your questions. So let's go. All right, so first of all, let's take a look at the battery that comes with it. This thing is pretty much a beast, I'd say. It has a lot of power. Right now we're running on four bars. All right, so let's get the scale out right here and see how much this weighs. Three pounds, 12.8 ounces. All right, so now we'll just take a look at this right here. So this has the quick connect so you can run some different attachments to it. So it's very easy. You just Unscrew that, loosen it enough, and you push that little button in right there, and it's just as easy as that to reinstall it. And then right here we have a high and a low switch, and right there is a safety on the side that you push, and then you go ahead and pull the trigger right there. Let's go on high speed. And we have a bump head to feed the line and it's a 16 inch cutting path. So nice thing with this setup right here, you don't have to go out and buy an edger and a trimmer. This is all in one with the power head of it. So if you wanna to switch to an edger, you can just quickly do that, take that out. So then right here we have the Skill PowerCore nine inch edger attachment. So a few things to point out on this. So you can see it has a nine inch blade size, has up to a three inch cutting depth. Okay, we're gonna test out the trimmer. The first thing I recommend is safety glasses. I don't know if you ever scratched your eye, but it is not fun. So safety glass is a good way to prevent that from happening. So I've run a lot of different string trimmers in my life and I always feel like it just takes about a day to really get used to it and how to hold it proper. Sometimes there's just a little slight variation. Like for this one, for instance, I feel like I just have to choke up a little bit more just for that thumb release. There's some other ones where you have your hand back further and when you get that muscle memory to hold it back there, then it seems to be a little inconvenient to have to reach up there to release it. But now that I've used this several days in a row, I don't even think about it, just automatically choke up and it's just really easy to use it. So there's a little patch of grass right here that was missed while mowing. Still have more to mow here, it's getting pretty tall. I really like the balance of this, it just seems to work really well. The one thing I feel like this just hovers nice and even when I go back and forth when I'm trying to trim something up. So if you've ever had like a section of the lawn where it's a little bit difficult to get a mower into it and you just need to knock it down and make it look pretty good, I think this right here would be a good solution for that.
All right, let's go over by my sidewalk here and we're gonna prepare it for the edger. So earlier today, I mowed next to the sidewalk right here. Not super short, but enough to clean it up a little bit. I like to take the trimmer and just kind of bevel it a little bit. So you have that little angle. That way it just kind of cleans it up so you can see a little better where the edge of the sidewalk is. If you edge your sidewalk every week, then it's really easy to maintain it. But if you're doing more of a cut in like I'm doing here, then it's nice to be able to see where you're going. I try to avoid hitting the sidewalk with the edger at all costs. All right, let's go. Here's a close look at the edger attachment. So it has an adjustment to the depth. So right here, if you loosen this, I have it fairly tight right now. You can see how you can raise or lower the wheel. So if you have the wheel up all the way, then that's gonna allow that to go deeper, put it down that way, then it'll be a little more shallow. And an interesting thing that this has right here is a guide, and that does help you hug the sidewalk so you're not gouging it and scratching it with this. But I do find that this makes it a little bit difficult if you don't have an already edged sidewalk. So you have to work it a little bit first and then if you just go and maintain it every week then I think you're going to like this. But at first you may be fighting the sidewalk a little bit and the dirt with that. All right, we gotta get the GoPro on this. Let the dust settle a second. <laughs> Probably helps if it has rained recently. Man, it's dusty. All right, look at that nice clean line. It does seem a little bit wider than the other edgers that I've used. And we're gonna get the blower out in a minute. After I do both sides, we're gonna clean those out. So I'm interested in knowing if you do mowing and you have a sidewalk, do you go ahead and edge it or do you just leave it or maybe hit it with a trimmer? So I'd love it if you drop a comment down below, let us know, that way we can compare notes. <laughs> All right, my opinion, that looks 100% better. It's worth that extra five minutes to go ahead and edge your sidewalk. Beginning of this battery system right here, you can see one battery will run all these different tools right here. So with this power core battery right here, you get 25% longer runtime and two times the battery life. And with the power jump charger, you get fully charged within 90 minutes. And this is a brushless motor, which gives you maximum power, higher performance, and extended life. So here's some features. The dual line bump feed head. We have the trademark name, the twist load, where you simply insert the line and twist to load it. Up to a 16 inch cutting swath. So in my opinion, I would say this is a full length trimmer. But I'm guessing you probably want to know the measurement on that. And it is 69 and a half inches overall length. It looks like there is a loop. I don't recall this coming with the strap. I'll have to check in the box. I never use one with my trimmer, but if you want to attach something to take the weight off your back, but I don't really feel the need. This just really has a great balance to it. And I think you can really go a long time trimming with it. I definitely like it. All right, if you want to find out more about this, if there's something I left out, I do have a link down below where you can check this out and get the current price on it. And also you can see the accessory for it. If you like this video and you want to see some other skill products, I do have a short playlist right over here that you can check out. And then if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you want to see I have another skill product that will be coming up soon. So go ahead and subscribe right there if you haven't done so already. So thanks for watching, friends. Have a great day.